everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, and I'm back for another crafty video. So, this time we are going to do a haul video, which you'll already know because you'll have seen the title card. Um, so, um, so I'll just explain. <clears throat> we went to Scrap yesterday, so Scrap in Farsley. Um, I'll link them in the description. Um, they are the recycling creative use project um, place that we go to that takes uh, stuff out of industrial um, waste and recycles it back into the community if it's obviously safe to do so. So um, they had um, an event on, on Saturday which was um, a makers and creative de-stash fair. So um, we were going to go and de-stash ourselves but we missed the opportunity when we saw the advert. However, um, we went along to uh, show our support and also to go and buy a few things which we did so i will show you what we bought did i did restrain myself and restrained myself a lot more than brian did so um i'll let him do his video and he'll be able to show you what he's he's got so i will show you what i got so i'll do it in two halves i'll show you what i got from the creative d stash um so that was lots of individuals just selling off what they what you know those extra things that we have in our haul um and i will also show you um what i bought from uh scrap but that will be at the end of the video okay so first of all i just realized i haven't turned my uh, light on and also hopefully you can hear me now my voice is still a bit patchy so i can't project as well as i normally can for the microphone however i think i've fixed the issues with the microphone so you know fingers crossed that's all sorted i appreciate some people had problems with the microphone and they couldn't hear me other people said that they could still hear me they just had to turn the volume up um and i will just say i also had some really horrible messages privately messaged to me um and um i won't go into that but it, you know at the end of the day this is free content so just bear that in mind so um so i'll show you what i've what i've bought from the from the fair so let's start with the fabric so lots of fabric i bought so because i'm doing this whole margot thing um i've bought some fabric so this fabric was bought because it's got that kind of um that kind of i don't know i, I think it's got kind of an asian -y, uh, um influence to it it's obviously been cut for something um because of the shape of it but you know it was a piece of of fabric that is and you can't feel it hope i don't know whether you can tell from the the nap but it's got like it's like a fel velvety feel to it um it's obviously covered in bits of thing bits of um cotton but you know thread and that but that all can be come come off now i'm hoping to make this into some kind of a journal or something like that for margot's adventures um but it's beautiful it feels beautiful and it looks beautiful so there's that okay i'm just going to find places to put things after i take them off camera um then there's this which is i thought was quite reminiscent of tim holt's sort of kind of fabric um it's just a piece of it's a very long piece of a fabric you know that's fine it's like a, i guess it's like a fat quarter i don't know don't ask me anything about fabric i know nothing i just know what i like so there's this which is a square of fabric all of these things cost me well yeah they, so far these things cost me a pound uh, a pound each were they uh no i think these were um 50p the smaller ones were 50p each um this piece was a pound um and this is this is huge uh, I, I won't unfold it all but like it's basically uh let me get back to to that it's basically double double that length double that width sorry by double that length okay so um because it's folded into a quarter so um again that kind of whole sort of asian -y influence and hopefully i will make stuff with this excuse me i'm going to have to cough <coughs> still not 100 percent well yet but i'm getting there then there's this now this is enormous i cannot tell you how big this is because it is just enormous and this cost me this piece cost me i think it was four pounds so it's 
if it's folded let's see that is so it's four times that length and then it's eight times that width so it's a full width of a piece of fabric because you can tell by this this called the salvage again this is like a a velvety kind of feel to it it is beautiful though I, apt, I this is one of the first pieces of fabric i saw and i fell in love with it and i was like oh i'm having that that's mine so bagsy um it's got that kind of carpet bag sort of feel to it i'd love to be able to make a carpet bag but i think that's a little bit beyond my abilities um maybe brian can teach me how to make a carpet bag he's the fabric crafter of of the uh crafty clan that we are um so yep yeah, so that was that piece um then i bought this this i bought this for brian <laughs> not for brian to wear obviously uh but this is like um i don't know is it, is it like it looks like the stuff that they made rah rah skirts out of in the 80s but i don't, <laughs> don't know i think um, madonna from the 80s would love this um but um he's doing a lot of stuff so this piece cost me two pounds um but it's it's going to be used for his lacy stuff, his lacy journaly stuff. So right there, that's that. Um, then there is this again, another kind of velvety feel. I just liked it. This piece just had it's got that kind of another kind of Tim Holtzy kind of feel. And again, this is four times this length and that's the width of it so um oh it's 137 by 65 that's in centimeters i would have thought 137 centimeters yeah by 65 centimeters yes that's that's right so that's that and then there's this which is a piece that me and brian are going to share because it's enormous and i there's no way i'm going to be able to use all of this and again it's kind of got that Asian influence to it so um, it's uh, Chartwell by Nouveau Fabrics copyright printed in United Kingdom 40 degree wash um, hot iron uh, don't bleach it and uh, air dry basically um, <laughs> good to those symbols um, yeah so that's that's that so like again that is four times this in its width and its length is eight times this so it's a big piece of fabric so basically it's curtains it's curtains for you um it's it, a lot of it was curtain fabric so <coughs> um then there was this that cost me 50p i know it's not a genuinely old sign um it's one of those uh recreated um you know uh what are they like retro-esque type things but i liked it i thought it, i'm going to be doing my doing my whole stairs and landing up i thought it'd be nice to stick on there maybe so um so there's that sorry just finding somewhere to put that uh then there was these bits of these bits of cardboard these were um just 50 pence each and i thought that they would go nicely with some of the stuff i've got planned for margot um this is like stuff in the in the future type stuff um, and if anybody doesn't know who margot is where have you been um you need to check out my videos i've been doing a whole thing making stuff for margot making for margot um then there was uh these so this is some doilies uh don't often see packs of doilies so um but i just thought these were quite nice and you know they're cuttable aren't they so you can cut some of this fringe off and, and put it somewhere and you know um and the same with that it's like a little pot stand that one so um flower pot stand not not hot oven pot stand um so that was they were two for two pounds which you know again nice little bits of lacy stuff um then what do we have uh then there's these so these were <coughs> i'll get all of these out so all of these things these bits came from the same lady so 
this lady was absolutely lovely. I don't know her name. I don't know, you know, I don't, don't, as far as I'm aware, she didn't say she had a YouTube channel. She was interested that I had a YouTube channel. And I did say I would mention her. She was really lovely. She used to teach um, crafts to um, people with uh, learning difficulties. And she retired from doing that because she ran it as a charity. She retired from doing that. Um, but she used to teach it. And because she used to teach it, she used to have every kind of die you could think of. Um, she doesn't, she's really paring back on what, what she uses these days. She's got hundreds of things and she just wanted to get rid of them. Now these are tattered, well, these certainly are tattered lace dies which sell for quite significant amounts of money. Now, <clears throat> I'd seen that and I'd said to because uh, she didn't know what it was, so there's, uh, two, there's two in here, so there's two dies, and she wasn't sure what it was. So I explained to her what it was, and she, because I, I knew what it was, she says, well, have it then. And I said, no, I don't want to have it. So I, I still bought it off her, um, but because I bought it off her, she threw that in as well, because that kind of goes with it as well. So, um, But she was absolutely lovely, and both me and Brian bought stuff fr from her. And if we'd been, if there'd been more stuff that we would have used, then we definitely would have bought more stuff from her, because... She, just just such a lovely person so i don't know your name i'm really sorry but if you do see this video please just um comment down below and i'll know who you are and um i just wanted to say it was lovely to meet you and you made our day so i bought this don't know what it is but um it's a vintage vector card shape i guess until i cut it out i don't really know what it is so um i'm going to have to cut it out to find out but you know a pound a bargain and then these of course because you know i like making stamps so i'm going to be making some for margo um so I, i've got i've got a couple of stamp um dies you know so hopefully you'll see them again <laughs> hopefully you'll see some of these things again um then we have just a couple of these these were free when i bought some of the fabric that first piece of fabric that I said that I'd absolutely fallen in love with. <coughs> the lady just threw these in with it because, like I said, I wanted those and she's, oh, she threw them in. Just because they're really nice colours, they're really nice uh, journaly colours. So um, there's those. Um, I'm really sorry for my voice as well at the moment. I'm just, while I'm getting the next piece, I'm just going to have a drink of something. So. So, um, there was a little stand with everything in the thing, 20, uh, 20 pence, and these were just some um, napkins. You know I like my napkins, you know I like to do my decoupage. They're just really nice, helps if you put them the right way up, Dave. Um, they're just really nice. Um, so I had those, 20 pence, bargain. Um, and then there was these which were which is some glassine bags now there were um i can't remember these were like 50 pence uh just some glassine bags there were two packs of these brian had one pack and i have the other so uh they're just these kind of glassine bags and you know i like to make my own but like you know it's nice if they're already made we'll just vintage those up and make them look super duper i'm sure they'll go into some kind of margot-esque thing um then we have um we met some really lovely people by the way there um i've got i've got to say we've had a we had a conversation with everybody at the st at the stalls and they were just lovely super duper lovely um so uh there was this that was from that same lady with the dies um it was just a piece of fabric just picked it up just had it because you know i thought i could do something with that <coughs> um this this was from uh the so this and the next two items that I bring into shop were from the same place so this was from the lady in the corner that tried was trying to sell us everything you don't know who who she is but like she knows who she is uh she was the lady in the corner um i just liked it again it's got that kind of that um that kind of ethnic -y feel to it so um i just liked it thought it might be nice for some vintage correspondence for um for margot so 
it's just a, a little writing set and, and actually you know I quite I quite like it I'd quite like to you know, write a letter to my mum and send her one with that so um pop that in there I'll pack that better next time and then there's this so you can tell where I'm going with this because this is definitely going on Margot's desk isn't it so this is an old paper punch now I could see that on Margot's desk um and I just really liked it. You know how I've struggled with it. Well, I've actually got one that's quite an old one, which is from WH Smith. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I, I, perhaps I'm just drawn, inexplicably drawn to vintage paraphernalia. Um, <laughs> so um, I got this, it's really nice. It's, it's all, it's completely metal. You know, even this base thing is metal. So on that one, like, it's plastic. So this is definitely more 70s, 80s, the red one. And this one's, I would have said, I don't know, 50s sort of period, 50s, 60s. Um, but it's all made of metal. Um, and I just liked it. I just really liked it. And then this has got the, um, it's got the adapter thing that you can kind of move so that it either punches this near near one or you can push it back that way and punch that one depending on how far apart you, you don't see them on paper punches anymore even this one doesn't have that um they're just a standard width now i think so so that's good just really liked it um i can't remember how much that was two pounds i think so nothing really um perfect though for for margot and then there's this so you know margot likes to um do photography i bought her a slide box so this is from boots now i don't know <coughs> <coughs> i don't know when from boots because you know it's definitely pre um barcode which barcodes started appearing in the uk around the kind of early to mid 80s um so it predates that i would have said um and it's a slide box. I mean, like slides haven't been particularly popular as, as, as you know, formats for a long period. But it's completely unused. This hasn't been written on. This hasn't been written on. I mean, like, look, that looks like brand new. It's still got the foamy bit in the bottom of all of these, and you know, it looks like I say, it looks brand new. But that's going to be for for Margot and her slides. So, um, it all builds up that kind of is it provenance of plausibility, etc. And then the final thing that I got from the <coughs> the D stash fair. So sorry for coughing. Um, I think moving dusty things around also doesn't help me. Um, so were these and I thought oh Margot would love one of those. That'd be a really nice handkerchief for her to have. So uh, there's there's three of them so there's that one that one and then there's this one um and these these came from the stall next to the lady with the dies the lady with the dies that's how she's known and then there's this one which i also thought was a really nice one um but i think this is oh no it's not it's not i was thinking it might be a gentleman's handkerchief but it's not it's still quite small so um i thought that they might be quite nice as uh nice little handkerchiefs for her so uh possibly they're possibly you know placemats or whatever but you know we, we're going to go down the handkerchief route so that's it from the the stashy thing the d stash thing i thought it was absolutely fantastic we're definitely when we see it come up again we're definitely gonna get a couple of stalls one for brian one for me um and get rid of uh, some of our crafty stash um because, like, you know, they're, they're the kind of things that you just want to get rid of, but, you know, you've got stuff. You just don't want to throw it away. You want it to go to a nice, to a good home. Somebody else can can make use of it. Um, and also, you don't want to, you know, just throw it away because that's polluting the environment. And I think, you know, we, we need to take a bit of responsibility as crafters for things like that, not just chucking stuff away. So, um, so that was it from the the D stash so this is the stuff then that I got from um, scrap so um, although it was host the D stash was hosted by scrap it wasn't actually in their shop it was in their events area so so I've got this which cost me three pounds 
I believe, I can't quite remember, but I think it was three pounds. And these are just some really nice um, kind of materially. Oh, it says two pounds on here. I didn't see that. So anyway, <laughs> there you go, two pounds. Um, so it was two pounds then. Uh, so just nice bits of fabric, all the same thing, but like, you know, just different colors. So all the same, but different. There you go, Dave. That was really logical. Well done. Bravo for that, Dave. Um, so all of these things, just I just really liked it. I'm, I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to colour, so um, i just really drawn to these. And again, I was thinking, I was thinking Margot would like that. So uh, I channel Margot now. So and, and I talk about Margot at the craft fair. I was talking to a lady, the lady that I bought the three pieces of card from. Um, I was talking to her and. Um, we had to go and get some more money because like it didn't have any cash and she you know we, we it only came to one pound fifty so we went to go and get go to a cash point came back by the time we'd come back she'd found me on youtube and then like she says oh i know who margo is so <laughs> so it's just really funny so yeah so i'm channeling margo um so uh yeah so i just really liked liked these loved the colors of them I don't know what I want to do with them. I, I kind of in my head, I was thinking I could sew them together like patchwork, but you know, I, I just like them like they are. I just like them as they are. Please don't make me use them. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> I bought a tube. Yeah, I know. Why? I don't know. Why? <laughs> why do? You, why do any of us buy anything? This was seventy pence. I it was ninety pence, but it isn't. It's seventy pence. Um, it's just a tube. One of those cardboard tubes. I've got a couple of ideas. I'm not sure whether they'll come to fruition, so I'll just say that I will use it possibly at some point. So, <laughs> um, and then we've got this, which is an enormous. We were like, "What is that?" Not quite sure. What, I mean, no, it was a roll of paper. But we weren't quite sure what it was, and it's it just says it's misc at three pounds. Um, but uh, I found out what it is. So it is. Let me just. And pick it. Now I'm going to share this roll because it's, it's absolutely enormous. Let's just try and get this apart. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is still quite scratchy. So it is. It it, 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 it it is sticky back. No, gummed back paper. So it's just that. Uh, gummed paper. So you know, like the the small roll of gum paper that I use this stuff, and this is just rolled in so that the gummed bit is on the inside. This was rolled with the gummed bit on the outside, which I was like, what? What is that? All I did was I did that with my uh, wet finger, and I was like, oh, it's sticky. Oh, it's that paper. So like, of course, then that meant that we had to have some. So. Um, so that's going to be shared between me and Brian because there is no way, you know, I'll be doing my millionth video and still using this otherwise. So, um, so there's that. Um, and then what else do we have? I bought three of these. Now I know that you think I might have gone like cardboard tube crazy. Um, there's these. Now these have had, obviously had um, feather and down. Um, they've had bath and shower gel in, but I like the way. I don't know if you can hear that. They just fit so perfectly that they kind of. Can you see how they're lightly closing because they're just so snugly fitting? And I was thinking, we're going to have some of Margot's products in here. So some of the things that she buys in come in this. So um, are these worth 30 pence each, you know bargain so I literally this is what what it is so this will have been this these products will have been designed they'll have had a product redesign and these would have gone in in land into landfill so they're saved from landfill etc so and then I know that you know that I use a lot of these tubs so I bought another five of these um, because I've got the I use these for storage everywhere so those of you who don't know, these are um, ice cream tubs, and they come with a lid, so, and they cost me a pound each. Okay, but they are fantastic, fantastic storage, because 
um, you get, I oh, don't want to misquote you here, you get five of these across a Billy bookcase. So uh, a wider Billy bookcase. One of the wider Billy bookcases, the one that I have sat behind me, you get five of these across it um, on a shelf. And they fit perfectly. Um, so it's for my, I'm going to get be getting a new Billy bookcase to go on the landing. Um, and uh, there to start stocking up for storage for there. So there we go. So that's it. So that's what I got from my uh, crafty um, D stash haul and from my um, trip to scrap because um, we saw the people, the, the, the lady that runs scrap there, and she said, You better not just be coming here. Right? You're going to visit, pop next door, and go in, in the shop. And of course, we we always do. We can't go to scrap direction and not go into scrap. So, um, so it was really nice. Like I say, always lovely people at scrap, but the the uh, D stash people were also really lovely as well. So I just wanted to say thank you to them as well for ha making you know making it a nice day out. So uh, we were out a lot longer than we we expected to be, um, but it was well worth it. And then we took a trip to Sainsbury's to go and buy some dog food. So. Hardly, hardly the most exciting of days. Um, and when Vic sees me, because I haven't seen Vic since um, since Friday, um, he'll be like, "What on earth? Not more stuff." <laughs> so, so there we go. Anyway, that's it for me today. Um, I'll be back with more um, misadventures of Margot. Um, and we'll see um, what we do in the next video. So you all take care. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. And remember to subscribe, please. Um, it's like 70% of you aren't subscribed that watch this. So watch it. So no, don't just watch it. Subscribe as well. Um, and uh, I am going to be doing... I'm currently on four... 164 videos I think it is and I'm going to be, I want some ideas for what people want to see for your for the 500th video so my 500th video which will be you know it's going to be in 30 odd videos time um, but I want to know what you'd like to see on that special thing so you know you tell me what you'd like to see for the 500th one and I will try and get that sorted so um, it'll be the most popular or, you know, if the most popular thing is fire eating and plate spinning, then that's not going to happen because, you know, I can't spin a plate. So, oh, I don't even know that I can eat fire, to be fair. Um, but, you know, um, it'll be the most popular and most feasible. So, all right, folks, thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you all soon. You all take care and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Bye.